While from different phases of life, there was something that drew them to each other. They belonged to each other in the sense that one did not feel pain, nor joy, nor any other emotion without the other feeling it as well. Their hopes, worries, fears, and dreams began and ended with each other. With every intention in the world, they had chosen each other, and that was... Hey, do you want to grab dinner? Yeah. Time wasn't simply slow, it was unforgivable. Time would stretch, squeeze, and bend, but never seemed to bring him closer. She had waited for what had felt like her whole life for him, and was not prepared for when he appeared. I think you're in my group for the class project. I, I think we are. Oh. Well, Mario. Kristen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So what major are you? Uh, nursing. Oh, nursing. Pretty cool. It um, began when know. he noticed her. As his eyes softly landed on her, it felt as if she already knew him. She could almost remember waking up to the sound of his laugh. Could almost remember curling a lock of his hair around her finger and then reaching out to grasp his warm hand. In the instant of his eyes landing on her, she could feel her heart opening up to him like a flower in the sun. Uh, well, anyway, um, a couple of my other classmates were thinking of ideas, just brainstorming for the project, and uh, we're, we're probably gonna go watch the movie for class on Friday, if you wanna join. Yeah, yeah, sure, I'd love to. All right, Great. well, cool. see ya. Okay. Nothing much. You been all right then? Yeah. Yeah. Not too busy with school? No, I've been okay. Sounds good. I think I see my friends coming. Oh, um, I just remembered something. Um, I have to go and do something that I completely forgot about. And, but thanks for inviting me. With every intention in the world, they had chosen each other, and that was the true miracle of it all.